I'm Michael Venkman. And I'm Corey Downs. And this is ESPC, the only 24-hour live broadcast of Confirmation. Right now out in the field, we have live ESPC's very own Daniel Duke to answer for us the question of, what is Confirmation? Thanks, guys. From my sources, I've found that Confirmation is the right in which a baptized person, more commonly one baptized as an infant, affirms Christian belief and is admitted as a full member of the church. Back to you guys. Thank you, Daniel. It's always great to have you. <laughs> so, I have a question for you, Michael. What's up? Is confirmation in the Bible? Contrary to popular belief, confirmation is in fact in the Bible. It is in the passages Acts 8.14 and Hebrews 6.2 that talk about the bestowing of the Holy Spirit by laying the hands onto the person's head. For our next topic, we have Carson Holler out there with a very, very special guest. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Merritt Addison, who recently met the Pope for his charitable actions for the Catholic Church. So, Merritt, how's meeting the Pope? It was great. He's a very charitable and kind man. So, tell me about the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Well, since you asked, the fruits of the Holy Spirit are observable behaviors in men and women who have allowed the presence of the Holy Spirit to live and be effective in them. So I hear there are 12 of them. Do you know them? Yes, I do know them. They are charity, joy, peace, patience, kindness, and goodness. Not forgetting generosity, gentleness, faithfulness, modesty, self-control, and above all, chastity. In your previous answer, you mentioned grace. So what are the graces that come from the Holy Spirit, or confirmation? Well, there are many effects of confirmation, and some of them are graces. For example, there is sanctifying grace and sacramental grace. The sacramental grace helps us to live our faith loyally and speak the word of God fearlessly. Thanks, Merrick. Back to you at the station. Carson, Merritt, thank you. Well, Michael, I heard you need a patron saint and a sponsor to be confirmed. Why is that? Well, your patron saint during confirmation is uh, someone who you admire, you look up to, and you want to try to be like. The confirmation sponsor is uh, someone who you're close to and someone who will have your back during the time of spiritual turmoil and troubles. Is that true? Yes, it is. Thank you. On to our next topic. About two weeks ago, Carson Holler made a trip to the local pool to get a recently confirmed teenager's opinion on the sacrament of confirmation. And here's what he got! <laughs> Thanks guys, I'm here with John Crone, who recently got confirmed. So John, tell me about your recent confirmation. Well the classes took a long time, it was really time consuming through two years, but I feel like I really got out of it what I really wanted to. So, what is your advice on why other teens should get confirmed? Through confirmation, a teen can truly discover who they really are, and some really need Christ to get through life. We would like to thank Carson Holler and John Crone for taking time out of their summer to help us show you the good video we made today. Now, we are going to ask my left-hand man a question. We put him on the spot here. Corey, what is the sacrament of confirmation? Well, I've been to a couple confirmations in my day. And I do know that the minister of confirmation is the bishop. And the matter is olive oil and balsam, which is the holy chrism. And the form is I sign thee with the sign of the cross, and I confirm thee with the chrism of salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Marvelous. Glad to have you with us. Stay classy, 8th period creed.